GoPros are the hardest things ever. I'm sitting here trying to figure it out because I'm trying to do a video for tomorrow. Trying to get into some more backseat drivers and I need like those back angles. Because you got that front one which is nice, it hits everyone. But those back angles really get the people in the back. If there ever are, in the future. Oh my god. Huh? Huh? Oh my god. We did it. All right, guys, we're back. I'm here with the one and only Vincent Hacker. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Probably the most thirsted man over in social media. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that one. How was that? I, I, it must have been really cool for you to experience something like that. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. Let me one second. Hello? You're, you're keeping your samurai sword, right? Basically, I just wanted to like, I want this to be a very like, just a conversation between two people that like, I don't know, I feel like as social media influencers, we don't really have like genuine conversations that people can follow, no, other true. than like what we put out on the internet. And I think what's kind of interesting with you and I, we both had our like fair share of like, you know, like I had the hype in the summer, mm -hmm. kind of like I skyrocketed, like that was a really cool moment. But then like, you now have it and it's like, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to make that awkward. No, so like you have it. <laughs> Two very different like looks though. I feel like it's oh, very, very different. No, it's like the, the, like the boy, boy next door, like the all American kind of like and then, attract. Yeah. And then yours is like, oh, oh my god. You? <laughs> then make love to you. <laughs> But it's so weird because we have these two different like images, but at the same time we're also like close friends, and yeah. it's and we have like similar personalities. It's just we just come off differently on the internet, and it's like well, yeah, that's something about the internet, dude. Is like I could like literally look like a stone cold killer. Yeah. Like if you were to watch my TikToks and then meet me in person, a lot of people are like like I I had one of my my cousin my cousin's friend's house. Okay. And my friend asked or his friend asked him. He was like, Yo, is Vinny a douchebag? Like just straight up asked him that. Yeah. And he was like, no, he's just a normal, normal guy. Dude. Yeah. yeah. I, I, dude, I walk in, I'm like, yo, what's up, guys? Yeah. He's like, huh? Like, like, dude, like, like people think I'm a douchebag. Yeah. Like people, <laughs> people expect me to be like a f boy, like douchebag type guy. When in all yeah. actuality, I just play video games all day and I yeah. just sit in my room. No, that was one of the things when I first met you because you put out this content of like very like seductive. And it's like, Almost as you should, steamy. as you should, you know, it's like no. very like edgy, it's like, you know me, you know, like, I'm like an edge lord, basically. I'll tear off your clothes kind of vibe, and then, but it's also like, you're one I of the nicest tear off kids. I clothes. Promise? Don't tempt me with a good time. Promise? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's also like one of the sweetest guys I've ever met. Like both of us having like a sense of blowing up very quickly, that's where I was trying to go. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, it's great and all, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But you and I especially know that Growing so quickly on social media, there's also, it's not all sunshines and rainbows, you know? It's not at all. There's dude. some negative things that you gotta go through, but in the end of the day, I believe it's all worth it. But it's definitely, it definitely sucks. Like, how, how do you think you handle it? Cause well, like, I know, I know a lot of the time, like, especially what, what really kind of like people see about us, like, being similar in some way on social media like the one of the only ways is that like, we address stuff that happens to us yeah. if you know what i'm saying but a lot of the times dude some of that stuff people it's good to hold people accountable yeah but then some people like take it too far 100%. you know like 100%. like if you catch me on a day where i'm like you know like let's say i wasn't actually feeling good right yeah and i wasn't actually happy and then somebody says this thing about me and they're not holding me accountable at this point they're like telling me to like I'm trying to poke at you and they're yeah. just like yo make a mistake say something stupid yeah like, and then and you're like dude yeah you got they don't know it like a lot of people don't know what it's like in this situation but a lot of people love to understand it as well so it's kind of like a 50 50 like yeah some people see from our side and they're like i bet it's hard yeah like let them be kind of like let them go through it and then there are those people that are like cancel them kick them while they're down yeah you know? kick them while they're down like i feel like and for especially those people like not just us but a lot of people that have gotten the hype yeah it's like a lot of the time people just want to kick them down because they're getting the hype and they don't want them to have it anymore. hundred percent. And it's like a, a, a lot it of it is like jealousy. And when, when someone like that genuinely, I feel like I wouldn't even say deserves the hype, but when mm -hmm. someone like gets the hype mm -hmm. and it's kind of like, they're getting praised on social media. They're like, Oh, like everyone like follow this guy. Like they're mm -hmm. blowing up all that stuff. Like it's, it's a cool moment for them. But then 
people start to realize and they're like, wait, why do we give this kid the hype? Like, I've yeah. got so many of those comments and it's like, that kind of sucks, like, ow. <laughs> but it's also like, it comes with it and I feel like if you waste your time, like, trying to please everyone, then, mm-hmm. you're, then you're just gonna, like, exhaust yourself, you know? So it's like, when someone good deserves a hype and they can't really find anything at the moment that they're like, that they can get mad at them for mm-hmm. or kind of, like, badmouth them for, they'll, like, dig, dig. Yeah, and, like, they'll, they'll go into deep. your history, they'll go into your, like, your... And they'll, like, make up things about you. I've had so many things made up about me. You know somebody people, showed up to my house? My parents' house? Really? really? Somebody showed up to my parents' house. Dude, that made me so mad. That, like, that's when it gets, like, too far. Like, I have people sending, like, my number got leaked, and I don't know how, but I think it's just from people so sending mine. it around. So mine. That's why I changed my number. Yeah. I haven't even changed my number. I've just been too lazy, honestly, and it's, like, been annoying. But I've had a random number, like, send me, a, like, a picture of my house that you can't get from, like, Google Images, or you can't get from, like, it was, like, a weird angle of my house back home, and he was, like, Better hide your sisters or some shit like that. And I was like, yo. And I, I, I like told my I man. told my team about it. I'm like, get this number. Like, I don't know. Like I blocked them just because I didn't want to hear any more of it. And I just mm-hmm. texted my sister, like, yo, be safe. Like, I love you guys. But I got yeah, like, you want to protect them, but you can't do anything. Like you're in LA and it's like it's a weird situation. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's to be where we are. <laughs> obvi- yeah, obviously, like, you know, it's good. Like we get a lot of opportunities where we are now. There's 100%. ups and downs. Yeah. It's like there's a lot of cons. And there's a lot of pros. There's way more cons, but the pros are, are so, bigger. Yeah. You yeah. Know? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they affect like the weight. The oh, weight of yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. The yeah. weight of the pros is way heavier than the weight of the cons because the cons are just stuff like hate, you know, all that stuff. Just seeing yourself like getting on, let's yeah. say leaks or something oh, like yeah. that. Social media is such a bittersweet thing mm. where it's like you want to appreciate everything you have and like when you have a sad like you can't really show that you're like sad or you can't really show that you're having a bad day because people are like oh wow like look at your house you're yeah. so ungrateful you yeah. like stuff like that but then they don't see like they don't realize how much this stuff affects us and then like get over it like look at your life and it's like yeah I would then, love to but just be nice and, and like, a lot of times dude they don't understand like I didn't grow up like this no no I did not grow up like this no, you like can't... my mom had to work two jobs when I was growing yeah. up dude I was like having to like pay for a bunch of stuff myself yeah and when I couldn't dude my parents would pay for it and now I feel like I I want to pay them back yeah that's the reason I'm doing all of it you know? yeah I'm it's not dope. doing it for myself 100% like social media is so weird because we were kind of just thrown into this like mm-hmm. we both grew up as athletes and it's like that's yeah. what we have that like hard work and we kind of have like that mentality built out where it's like we can deal with most of it because we probably had hard coaches growing up but then it comes to a point where it's like it's too much and it's like you can't really prepare for something like this mentally you know because nobody ever expects to be famous no. or like one like, of the things for me though I don't like being called famous no because I don't think I've done anything I, yeah exactly yeah yeah, I don't think I deserve that. I don't yet. think I deserve that title. I'll like correct somebody and be like, I'm not, I'm relevant. Yeah. I'm not famous. Yeah. I'm famous not a celebrity. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not I a do celebrity. TikTok. <laughs> exactly. And, and it's like, like a- all my friends will like come over, bro, you're like famous. And I'm like, no. No. There's a, com- there's a difference. Not yet. Dude. Not, not yet. yet. I mean, but that's the thing. Like, it's kind of like motivating though. Cause when people like say that stuff, like, bro, you're like famous. I'm like, no. But like, hopefully someday I will be. Like, I want to like branch out and do other things yeah. that'll like earn that title. Part of me doesn't feel like deserving of a lot of the things that I have. Like I, I feel like I'm spoiled, but like in a way where I can't like control it. So like when people say like, oh, like look at the house that you're in. It's like, yeah, it's an amazing house. And like, I'm more than grateful. But then when I'm constantly getting bashed on the internet for just trying to make people happy, like I don't do anything controversial. If I was yeah. like coming for people's necks and people were like, damn, screw this kid. Then I'd be like, okay, I'm deserving that. But when mm-hmm. I'm literally just posting innocent stuff, like, like, yeah, I'll post like thirst traps here and there. I'll post like funny like stuff. I'll post dance content, but none of it's like in any way trying to be offensive or yeah controversial you, in any way you, so when you first joined the car and i was like pretty thirsted on guy you know you're a good looking dude very good looking you're like is there any girls me. is there any like lucky girls in mind right now on the uav on the radar there's nobody on the radar honestly i do you want a relationship i do but i just <laughs> don't know how hard. like dude i've been in a relationship since junior year of high school and i just lost everything dude was that like last year no it was two years ago no. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, lost the ability to talk to girls. Just really? can't, dude. I swear to God, if somebody, even if like, I have pure confidence in myself, there's no way. I can't. I just can't, dude. I'll like be like too nice in a way. Like not like not like. Oh my God, you're being too nice. Like that's not a thing. Like I'll be like too friendly. Uh, I know exactly. You know, like you not flirtatious at all. Why is that? Are you like, just, you're, it's you just like it, guards more up, or is it more just like? No, it's just, it's just like a, it's almost like you a just safety. don't have game. It's like yeah, dude. It's you like, don't have game. It's it's also. I like used a, to. <laughs> I used to back in the day. I man. used to spit. And now it's like. Spit. But, now but like, like to be fair, I I don't think you need game. 
and where you're at. What, right what now. do I do? Just be like, sup? Yeah. Want to have sex? <laughs> um, but no. When I say you should call her, who pops into mind? I guarantee oh. there's so. Oh many. yeah, I can't say. I can't say that. <laughs> is it like someone we know? An old love of yours? Or no. Is it, it's, so a, it's a recent. Someone we know. It's a recent, but they don't know. They don't. Trying know. to keep it. Yeah, they think I'm their friend. I'm not their friend. No. <laughs> you don't want to be their friend. I don't want to be their friend. I'm their friend. I don't want to be. No. TikTok room viral news. Ooh, looks like Vinny's crushing on somebody. <laughs> well, guess what? I am. I am. What? And what are you gonna do about it? You gonna you gonna go dig? You gonna go dig? Oh, go do that. Oh, you gonna go do that? Oh, okay. I don't give a. F I don't give a shit anymore. God sakes. Maybe I should dig into your Twitter. Oh wait, you're not old enough to even can have it a year ago. Sorry. Keep going. No, you're good. <laughs> that was, that was, yeah. You needed that. I need to put my Zins in. I'm not vaping anymore. There you go. Good for you. I had to quit because my mom hates it to, and I hated it. I wanted to good, quit, yeah. but. But your mom hating it was really like the. Yeah. My mom. Dude, like she was like super like. Upset about it. Obviously, I moved out. I'm 18. Like, like you're an adult. You do she couldn't. Want. She she was like, you can do what you want, but she was like, still, you know, I could tell she was upset about it. Yeah. And I'll never like, I never did it in front of her or anything. Mm -hmm. But like, it was still like, I want to quit. Yeah. I want to quit for myself too, because I'm like, it affects your damn health. Yeah, it's not good. For it's you. not good at all. Oh. Quitting that. I mean, what have you been up to? You just. Yeah, chilling, chilling dude. Do anything. <laughs> Damn. Dude. A lot of the things that I'm doing right now, I can't really say, which kind of sucks. But like, I've been going to acting class. Oh, oh, nice. Acting class, a lot of YouTube. There you go. A lot of YouTube. Uh, so yeah, why'd you leave Sway? Because I really hated you guys. <laughs> I didn't want to be here anymore. No, no it was actually, cool. Actually. Have you told anyone? Is this like a thing? Like, oh no, the, I've told people. Uh, like, but does the internet know? Not really. Oh. Okay. Enlighten them. Oh. That was like. Clickbait. Basically, <laughs> um, I thought we were boys. We're not. You left I'm, me stranded. Just, you, you paid me five hundred dollars for this video. Obviously, you're gonna do it. I paid you like two fifty. <laughs> I was never really in Sway in the first place. Fair. I hung out with you guys all the time. Like I love the guys there, but it was such a rough time because I moved from Seattle to LA and to that first house yeah yeah then I just got s basically sent off to that other house I just got sent off to yeah. Sway Gaming not even Sway not Gaming, even oh, Sway Gaming. City. yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I just got sent off with yeah. no word that place that you like inherited was in shambles I remember Dude, yeah, we, I lifted up had... a pizza box and there were maggots under it yeah I had to like I had to pay like two thousand dollars for the sink to get fixed I had to pay I had to go over holes in the wall I had to fix the electrical I had to fix the AC. Yeah. Like, dude, I was like, it's a handy man right there. Ladies, that There's specific one, check me out. You need your maggots getting rid of? <laughs> it's your boy. These fingers pick up maggots pretty well. <laughs> 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 but no, it's like, yeah. I love being there. In that first house that I was at, we didn't really do much. Yeah. I was the only guy that actually really gamed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd stream, like, That's every true. day. Yeah. I'd the one and in I still Encino? stream every day. The Encino house? <clears throat> yeah. And I'd, I still, start, like, dude, there could be, like, people would come over, like, it would be, like, like, five people would come over. Okay. Say. And I'd like it was like they'd be having a fun time, dude. I'd be grinding my stuff because I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. That's what I wanted to do before TikTok was become a streamer. So like, that's dope. I got the chance to do it, and I went out for it. And I was always doing that, always doing that stuff. And then I just randomly, you know, there was one day where Griffin was like, "Yeah, I'm moving out." And so is Quentin. So are you. I was like, "Get out." What? I was like, "What?" I was like, "Where?" He was like, "Well, we'll figure that out." That's where I kind of was like. Shady from the beginning. Yeah, 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 I was like, yeah, yeah. hold on, don't know what's going on, and nothing against them because it was like a rough transition. Yeah, no, for everyone, it was just a weird time. <laughs> it, it was, was really, weird. it was really weird because that's when everything started to kind of like separate. Yeah, themselves. you know, because that was like that was a, like the final moment of like, damn, summer's over. You know, like yeah. everyone was so unified in yeah. summer. Yeah. Everyone was like together, like we'd yeah. just kick it. And then like, dude, the AM gym sessions, yeah. like the app being away when you pull up, that, dude, bro, that was so yeah. fun. Dude. Bro, summer needs to be fun this year. We've touched a lot of things, but I think just to wrap it up, like, so we've touched a lot of things, but I yet to touch those guns. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, 
more. Episode Bexy three coming up. Yeah. If you guys like it, see how this video does. Keep throwing these Bexy drivers at you. So, peace. See you guys next time. Don't peace forget to out. like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. <laughs> and go follow him on all the socials. You know. You already know it. You know it.